Hello, I'm Swamitra here from uh, Mineral Water Project Information. Um, now today I'm going to take you to something, you know, uh, as you know, Mineral Water Project Information is focused on creating trainings and uh, consultancies to offer uh, package drinking water plant business uh, people to start a business in a legitimate way. So you can see, just check out trainings. These are the training schedules and all, all about that. Uh, today I'm going to touch upon a <coughs> very important subject, you know, what happens after training. So many times people uh, start their businesses, sometimes they do not start, they sometimes drop, they do something else or many things are uh, happening, you know. So as you know, we are also offering consultancy, but even after, before consultancy and getting the training, there is some gap. So in that gap, what an entrepreneur should do? So this is the gap which we are, I am going to handle it today. So typically, uh, you know, uh, I have got a fantastic tool, which is uh, called as you can see on the screen now, that is called as a business uh, model canvas. So if you go to the startup community and you know, IT industry and all that, it is a very popular tool. Okay, business model canvas. So what does a business model canvas do is that you can, uh, you know, design your business on paper well before uh, doing it you can uh, tweak that tool you know through this many things you can do and uh, it's a fantastic tool which i have uh, seen that so you need not do always the business doing it uh, you know uh, one thing is some people go by their emotion you know and they start it karke dekhenge or let's do it and something like that and uh, going further and uh, failing and again uh, tweaking and uh, you know this takes many years uh, down the line Second kind of uh, uh, people which I have seen is that, you know, uh, typically uh, they wait and wait and wait and wait, okay, and they don't do anything. And uh, third kind of people, uh, they believe that uh, these things do not work. But uh, believe me, I have also been an entrepreneur throughout and uh, I, have, uh, I have been always uh, been, an, uh, been, been a job giver only. I have not... I have worked for only a few time, you know, hardly one or one and a half year in my entire career of maybe currently 35 years now. So uh, I have a true belief now that anything which can be defined on paper properly uh, in advance of starting something. So it is a better uh, kind of decision it will give you. Till that time you can uh, try out several things on paper. You can uh, cancel it, you can do it, you can tweaking it is called. Uh, in internet language the very popular world is tweaking so that is why uh, we recommend people that you know uh, they should uh, get educated about these things first and they then they venture so one of those things is this actually trainings which we have idea to actualization live training so i'm not much talking much about it you can go and check yourself you can go to the training live tra training uh, schedule and all that okay only uh, we also recommend you to go for home study course only if you are not able to attend the live sessions Okay, it is the really for those busy people, uh, they can just listen and they can form decisions. It is, uh, if you are a ch first generation entrepreneur or you are venturing into this line first, do start with the training course. And after the training course, uh, this is the uh, you know, tool which is very important. I will explain you one by one various elements of business model canvas. So just think about, you know, first of all, uh, you might think of several kind of uh, business models in this particularly talking about the package drinking water thing. So you might think of uh, your uh, first model is own uh, brand and own plant, like all those uh, plants which you see, like from Bisleri, Kinle, Aquafina and whatnot. They have their own brand and own plant, plus the uh, the smaller, uh, small caps ones, the local players and everybody. So it is typically, what does it represent? Own brand, own plant, meaning that I have my own brand, and I am backing my own water, okay, own plant in my own plant. So I have got all the resources plus the uh, major thing is the BIS license which you need for the plant. This all is owned by me. This is the first scenario, okay. So in this uh, particular thing, uh, we are just uh, hitting uh, on that. So what we should do and how we should go further on this. So the first thing which you see here is suppose uh, own brand, own plant. The second model can be you know something like own brand and LSS plan so that can be called as co-packing model so getting it done from somebody and selling it uh, third model which you may think of after that is rental model 
so you can you know uh, get a plant on rent from somebody and you can run and then you can decide a couple of years down the line whether to go for own uh, manufacturing facility or not or uh, simply you can if you have a lesser budget or lesser capital you can uh, just simply go and having your distributor uh, kind of thing very low capital uh, startup but whatever it is you will be needing two things one is the business plan and parallelly we are i am also going to show you something like uh, you know uh, a report kind of thing you know calculation kind of thing where we are talking about a dummy this is just a dummy name this is not a your name but this also i will show you that uh, how to check the financials on the line free of cost for yourself okay so i will come to this uh, uh, after once we finish this business model canvas tool so here if i am here so what i'm doing is now uh, what is this actually uh, this is actually a fantastic visual tool uh, it is divided into nine blocks so you can see the nine blocks here right from you know it starts from uh, customer segments relationship whatever okay so and there are two uh, blocks are down here so uh, how do you make use of this tool so the first thing you can uh, you know uh, do is you can take a print out of this whole thing and uh, do not you know write by hand on this okay first thing you can what you can use is you can use the post its which are available so you can remove you can uh, change it you can edit and something like that so that is how uh, typically they say that how you to do it so here uh, the first thing which you can do is customer segmentation this is the first thing which you can start with when coming to customer segmentation in package drinking water uh, there are three to four uh, major segments which we we'll talk about so uh, one uh, the segment is uh, the distributor which holds the maximum share of your products produce uh, customer segmentation uh, one a distributor who buys your products and distributes second can be the dealers which are directly the shops which are nearer to your uh, manufacturing unit where you can supply them directly a uh, third may be uh, called as institutional sales so institutional sales means they have a typical procedure for buying and purchasing you know like uh, this institution sell typically the colleges the you know um, the institute the schools maybe or even the government companies also they may fit into this and there are uh, other segments like uh, corporates so corporates is having a typical separate department for hr maybe maybe Mm, uh, purchase department they may be having a separate kind of things so corporate and one more uh, thing you can think of the co-packers okay co-packers is what co-packers are the people who have do not have that much capital and they just have their brands and they you know uh, go to others for packing so these are called as co-packer that is also a model which you can think of and one more model is the white labeling so white labeling is actually uh, the hotels or restaurants from for whom you can uh, develop like uh, specially designed for so and so brand or something like that so that is also one more model so this is all grouped under this particular segment called customer segment so you can write one one by one here segments which are you think it so you can once you design the six segments then uh, the second thing which you can focus on is the value proposition you know if you come to this value proposition value is what what special value what added value you are giving to that particular segment for example in package drinking water you might never see in that uh, particular uh, you, you can say that i am uh, going to deliver my you know uh, to distributors i am going to deliver them the person will go with gloves and you know the um, anti covid uh, total uh, dressing and my uh, hygienic standards top in world suppose hygiene is the value which you are designed then a top hygienic way of the delivery of your things can be a value proposition which you can have so each segment can have a different value proposition whenever you are delivering at shops you can do that uh, if delivering at uh, the hr and uh, this also you can go with your clean vehicles sanitized vehicles that can be your value proposition so you can you can design that you know so that is a value pro value is you will deliver the water like a medicine it will be in a top hygienic condition that can be your plain uh, value in this case so this is uh, what uh, i mean by value proposition so you can design each segment you can have a different value okay or otherwise in your case it can be same like hygienic conditions may be your value so this automatically comes you know to uh, third thing is which is the customer relationships you know or you can even choose between toggle between this and that the channels so you can toggle 
so how you are delivering so it may be delivery vans okay the uh, it may be having cc camera and sanitizers and completely clean things you know so this will these are the channels which you can decide so sometimes you are also you can also uh, deliver uh, through individual so for some individual customers also you can have that so delivery channels are the next thing which you can have a decision on that then comes customer relationships now here um, your type of uh, segmentation will have a different kind of status for customer relationships for example distributors you can have a different uh, kind of uh, customer relationships you can keep them because the distributors are typically traders kind of people where you will prefer to keep one to one relations the personal relationships uh, maybe the corporates you may prefer to use a channel like linkedin okay uh, for you know dealers and this kind of people you can use personal relationships plus you can have something like facebook okay so this is another social media platform you can have that for co packers and all, all that you can get through some uh, networks like saturday club there is a network called saturday club in uh, maharashtra uh, there is one more network called bni it is spread all over the world business network international bni so there you can uh, exactly get to those people through these channels so these relationships we can uh, choose like you know so this is the customer relationship uh, canvas then comes uh, the channel as i told you delivery channels and then down below if you come then comes your revenue stream so you are in your case of package drinking water the revenue stream is simple one uh, that sale of package drinking water bottles maybe jars okay but sale of package drinking water is your single revenue stream so currently i don't see any much revenue stream okay so once you are clear with this uh, five uh, blocks here now we can come to the left three blocks so one is the most important is key activities so what are the key activities you need to deliver the value okay for example if you really are concerned to you know um, give that hygienic value then maintaining the bis standards to its topmost hygiene becomes your key activity okay maintaining the uh, um, hygienic standards in your vehicles becomes your key activity maintaining the hygienic standards of all your workmen becomes the key activity in this uh, sense only the plant maintenance becomes very much key activity so this activity you have to maintain in details again uh, don't flood the canvas with too many uh, things on that uh, you can just mention that uh, plant maintenance in hygienic conditions will be your key activity okay uh, for delivering the key activity you will be needing uh, money for that so and uh, resources for that so this is the resources what will be your resources like so you will be needing special manpower you will be needing special systems okay a plant in perfect condition even the project plant also is also a resource so from where you are going to deliver the value where you are going to produce the bottles and delivering so plant also becomes your key resource a total hygienic conditioned bis approved plant becomes your key resource and your key resource second is the lab where lab technicians and lab and the bis records becomes your key resources if you don't know about bis that is bureau of indian standards which is actually uh, issuing isi for the plants and for your information uh, if you have isi then only you can run a, B, a, a package drinking water business in india so we also have a section on the documents in our trainings so you can just uh, access that and now finally uh, here the key partners so this actually all resources will be key partners now key partners change from time to time so initially when you are you know uh, uh, starting the project so that time uh, the plant supplier may be your key partner the turnkey project plant supplier maybe if you hire a consultant the consultant becomes your key partners okay partner okay the qc manager or somebody who is who you, you might have appointed so he also a key partner for you okay the delivery vans the people they also become key partners for you okay Uh, so this is how you have to choose your key partners who are the key partners and finally it comes to cost what is the cost involved total in this so in this the cost may be the plant and equipment cost and the operating structure operating cost and all that so this will become your cost structure so once you are clear with this uh, business model canvas it is not a very you know i shall be i, I shall try to uh, you know create more and more videos discussing upon each of these elements but at present uh, this is the um, single 
uh, video for discussing about uh, business model canvas as a whole so this is the main video about business model uh, canvas planning business model planning you can say that and now uh, let's come back to once you have decided this exactly you can take out now you can uh, come to another website which i have mentioned that is the website is finline.in so this is an indian site only finline.in it's a great site so where you can actually calculate yourself your inputs and all uh, project report kind of things in the trainings actually we uh, explain you uh, what are the equipments you need correctly and here i have made a sample dummy this is there is no company like this at least i don't know there, if there is a company just it's a coincidence nothing else so this is a dummy company and i have created a project report for this you can see that and uh, friends i am not a chartered accountant i am a ordinary engineer like you only or an ordinary businessman like you so even without a chartered accountant you can create a project report and you can test if you download you have to pay that's all okay and uh, otherwise uh, per project report also they are charging like 1000 rupees for download so in that download you can also discuss with their uh, you know whatever experts they have got or something like that but the main thing is uh, if you don't want to download and you can test it yourself so we'll just go to and check what is christy aquas project report looks like yes if you go here you can see the whole report but let us see and uh, you know these are all that report is with all financial terms so here i mentioned this uh, term loan of so and so project status and everything it is all it is here so if you are a financial fellow it can be a den to you it's a great thing okay all chartered accountants might be using this this kind of tools also we don't know but uh, it is not to you know take the credit away from them you will still need a chartered accountant after uh, you find do, do, do all these things but at least initially you can check out how much uh, is the uh, area of profit and all that okay so here i have just gone here and you can edit that i'll just go to view your project report so you can see that so it is saying that uh, you know uh, you have to pay 999 or something like that whatever i mean that is not required right now so you can just check it okay yeah now they are asking me how much you are likely okay i am just said okay okay now that i will complete later but just look at the things you know just it's a sample project at a glance it is here activity project feasibility ratio i don't know ratio analysis but had i known that you can just actually get profitability feasibility whatever ratios you want you know on the go itself you can do it so this is just i put up this uh, working capital competition and all that so in the trainings actually we uh, we train you on uh, how to get the costs what are the basic figures that the chartered accountants don't have project feasibility report project cost see it is here calculating all the equipments and all that so if you see it here the cost comes to 1 cr 96 like out of that i have considered the land cost also of 1 cr okay so anyway so this is working capital calculation annual sales and revenue here we have considered 1000 boxes 75 and all that okay and then uh, total yearly expense mentions here whatever i mean okay profitability statement and all that 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 are the all financial terms but uh, before that if you want to have a check on this so i will just go to dashboard again and let's check what we have mentioned there i'll just show you how uh, we have inputted the figures okay now here if i want to go and i can check these details company details this is very important not business profile but assets you know we are telling land and building these are the assets which are required by a package and water plant for example now here land and building you can see very clearly i can go and change it here you know? now land and building i have said land 5000 square foot amount here if i remove that so land amount i have just put in one cr okay and shed one at 18 lakh rupees so this we actually tell you how we have arrived at this cost so if you attend the training you will uh, understand that so why we have come to that this is the list of machinery so you can check it these are miscellaneous machines you know generator piping shrink wrapping machine jar and brushing unit so inject coding if you have got any quotations from suppliers you can check like that 
if you don't have these are the items where we can put in and we can generate our cost i'm just putting cancel for the time being okay once your machine is done similar way you can do it for computers electrification vehicles whatever pre formation expenses so they are listed down all the expenses so you can put it if you don't get other expenses you can put in that i have not entered the subsidy you can put the subsidy also and this is the net asset value you get it here why it is giving 50 over percent own contribution because we have taken the land cost in build otherwise you can mention how much contribution you are doing okay so that is very much useful so you can do that so once that is done so you can go again back to monthly expense you know it is mentioned here so how much is there monthly expense these all expenses we are actually again i am saying doing the same thing is we should know this you can do it yourself with the help of the website or with the help of a ca actually this is a in intermediate step you can say that so after you know your figures you need to use this site and then you can go to the chartered accountant so this is how we are doing we are telling you our sales and revenue so this is actually how much you are selling and all that uh, you can open the website and you can check it also so you can put it your sale also now the idea is uh, each type of business model if you are thinking of if you are thinking of rental model you can check it here if you are thinking of you know own plant own brand model you can check it here if you are thinking of taking some franchise from a brand you can check it here okay same way term loan it is mentioned 1 lakh see here it is mentioned so if i edit that okay if i go to land and building if i remove that that component okay if i remove the land component it will reduce okay so it will also generate give you all the details of loan and everything you know so we were at working capital so do the working capital the comments okay then uh, we can also add images in that to make it uh, more uh, effective so it can give you total uh, total project and there are some videos also available i would not check the videos how to create a project for fantastic so yeah you can just use this you know everything is self driven so this is very useful website so you can still go to them and you know pricing also they have got something yeah there is a pricing for that you can just check it the pricing so this is the first one is not useful because it's only up to 2 lakh rupees you know <laughs> so our cost is more actually so i don't say that you should uh, use this huh? otherwise uh, you can just computing and seeing on the screen is free okay it is free finance professionals i don't know this uh, maybe something different i don't know i'm not very sure about this how to use that but it is not required only so coming back to the uh, business model canvas this is it so various models you try it on this check it put it on paper check your pricing if possible check through a chartered accountant with that okay there is one more uh, website i which i would tell you here is uh, where i am a mentor actually with them uh, let me try to open that they asra.in okay this is a website through they actually uh, are a csr company but here you can just go and talk to those people you know can schedule appointments what do they give they give all kind of things plus they also give all you know resources and all that experts also they charge you a little like 50 100 rupees 1000 rupees is your charge but they will also give you you see proposal creation and funding they help you okay so if that legal compliance is marketing programs and something like that so i i i, I highly recommend that uh, you should use this kind of services see it is here business planning and idea validation compare options okay funding proposal creation legal compliances marketing services programs all services so you can just go and i don't see see that you should continuously uh, do that but initially you can definitely go with them and it can be had from any place see this is also very important okay business plan they are giving you a business plan service also so we'll just click there and we can check it so at least the things will be ready see this is this is it you know they have got why do you need business plans and all that so you can do that okay fantastic this is the criteria fulfilling fulfillment and uh, you can just use this site also so three websites we uh, saw that this they will all help you uh, to get your uh, white space white space clear what what do you mean by white space clear 
is that they will get you finally uh, nearer to your uh, dream so ultimately starting a plant so as uh, i told you so you can just uh, visit our website also you can track the check the next live sh- training schedule and if you are ready with all things you can also opt for our consultancy also straight if you are ready okay you can also you know this is what it is like you know uh, it will always guide you where are your uh, your need and all that you know handling support in addition to that we have also uh, done one more thing now this one to one counseling service you know for that uh, we also recommend you to visit uh, one more uh, link i will uh, share the link in the um, description of this video so i will just tell you where to use the link and uh, where you can have a one to one guidance with us you no know, one to one guidance is for free we are not charging for that so how to get that guidance i will just tell you yes so uh, what i am trying to tell you is you can also schedule one to one appointment because sometimes the things are not very clear uh, whether to go for the project also or not that may also also not be very clear to you it may so happen so in such a case you can use a service like then to we have our appointment booking thing so here you can come and uh, schedule time so i will put it and you can what i do do is uh, you can just pick it pick it up sp- spot which we have reserved for this one to one consultation so you can see that uh, you know uh, 28 no slots are available thursday we are not but this we are kept it available so mineral water initial questions you can definitely ask so even uh, to make a decision something like to come for the course or not so what is useful whether course or consultancy or whatever okay so you can just schedule an appointment so that is also one more option so i told you again that uh, one is you know straight away attend the tra- trainings so you can check the home study course you can check the live training schedules okay if you are very busy you can just go for the home study course it has got videos plus audios as well so you can go for that so if you are not uh, sure we always recommend that you should go for the live training okay so this is the about the home study course it has got all the videos and all that so it will explain you about this page okay contents of the course and all that so uh, then uh, before that you can always come and have a one to one with us then after the project is done you can go to the model canvas and then compare your figures and launch your project so that is how uh, the whole thing will go like so we are always there as uh, mineral water project information we are always there so thank you so much tune stay in tune to us these are the contact numbers you can see that mineralwaterpune@gmail.com email and that is it no and uh, if you are willing you can also fill up a contact form from our website and you can uh, get more information which will be coming to us directly we also have a youtube channel so you can subscribe to that and you can get all the details on your youtube here we also have a facebook page and we also have a niche uh, linkedin group so that also you can check on contact us page here okay so i'm not flooding the video now <laughs> it's already uh, over 28 minutes now so i'm stopping the video but business model canvas is a very useful tool and you will expect some uh, videos from me uh, in the coming days thank you